good morning YouTube. How's everybody? How you doing? Where you been? What's going on? Just got done with Man of America. Season 5 has started. It was just me and Adam today because Rob, you know, totally just let us do it. We're calling him out all over the place. He just didn't show up. That's okay. We had a good show. We did the top 10 of what we missed while we were gone. I think we were on uh, vacation for like six weeks. It was long six weeks. It seems like a long six weeks. Anyway, got a car full of kitties. Uh, I got five with me today. We got G-Man, Tux, aka Wiggles. Uh, and then we got Buddy Ling Ling and Joe V. You can hear, he's really mad. That's G-Man. He's super mad. He wants out of the bag. Really wants out of the bag. All right, dude, here. I'll let you out and you only. Come here, G. Come on, G. Hurry up. There we go. We're going to close it up because everybody else will be quiet. All right, G-Man. Want to say hi to everybody? Say hi, G. Look how big he is. He's gotten really big. Adam, you need to take your kitty. He needs to not be in my house anymore. You can come get him. Just saying. Anyway. So, we have some updates. Some kitty updates. Um, the... What we run? We've, we've already done some videos on Mama Faith uh, and, and her babies. So, we'll rewind last Sunday. Yeah, last Sunday, uh, we got an emergency call about a mama cat that had four kittens and had birthed her uterus outside of her body. Uh, literally, it was just hanging out of her body. So, I took the four babies. They took mama. Mama went to emergency down in Chattanooga to which they get her down there and uh, River wants $2,800, which Dixie obviously didn't have. So they kept her overnight and just gave her supportive care. Yes, her uterus was still hanging out of her body. Uh, she was picked up the next day. I have the four kittens. She was taken to the vet that we use here. Um, I think Key Street Animal is, is who it was. Uh, they amputate the uterus, open it up, and surprise, found another kitten. That kitten was not breathing. They did CPR and brought that kitten back. That is baby Grace. Vet wanted the kittens back with mom. So Monday evening, I took four kittens, dropped them off and picked up the one kitten uh, that they had just found in the uterus that had been sitting out of the mother's body for 24 hours. Uh, that kitten I named Grace. Uh, she did really well, kept her for 24 hours, took her back. We ended up losing three kittens, uh, head, toe, and ear. Uh, don't, don't make fun of me, that's where I marked them. One on the head, one on the toe, and one on the ear. Uh, we ended up losing those three. Mother got brought back to Angie uh, with the two kittens that were left. We had thought at that point in time that we had lost Grace, that one of them was Grace, and I was heartbroken over that. I go to pick them up and was never so happy to turn her over and realize uh, that it was Grace. She actually did survive. After all of that, she was she was still alive. So I actually have mom and the two babies. So mom's name is Faith. Then we have Grace. And then our little gray chunk mug, I've named him Huckalese because he's a fatty. Uh, I think I supplement fed for one day. Uh, which meant that I was giving them formula in between them nursing on mom. She had a really super invasive surgery, and that can mess with the milk production, which I truly believe uh, that that it that it did. We only had to do it for a day, and then after that, pretty much milk had come in. How do I know that? Because we were weighing the babies every few hours to find out whether or not they were gaining weight. Uh, when they started getting enough milk, they were gaining weight, and they didn't want any formula for me. When they took the formula, it's because they were hungry. It's kind of how that works. So we're down to weighing them about two to three times a day now. Everybody's doing good. Uh, this morning, I think Grace was 180. 
180 grams and Hercules was 229 grams. He's just such a fatty. Mom is doing very well. Her incision is healed nicely. She's eating, she's drinking, she's gaining some weight. So we are now looking for a suitable foster home to send mom and baby since I think everybody's out of danger now and I think, I think we're okay. That was a long week. It was a very trying week. Uh, still have the elf babies. They are going on five week old now. So we've been on slurry and we are now attempting to start eating from a plate. Uh, they're kind of getting it, kind of not getting it. Uh, I believe I've got a foster up set for them as well. Uh, so we should be good. Tux should be leaving by this weekend, maybe or early next week. His family is on vacation right now. So he should be gone uh, within about a week. Don't know about G-Man. G-Man, we need to we need to figure G-Man out because uh, Prince is real attached to him. So he, he, he needs to go, or he's not going to go. Is what's going to end up happening. All right, let me get on here. There's a little bit of traffic. All right. Yeah, we're going. Yes, babies. I know. Yes, babies. So we put some videos out of, of the new ones. I need to get some more stuff on the elf babies. We haven't had a whole lot of videos on them. They, they certainly are cute. Uh, they're fat, they're happy, healthy, haven't had, haven't had any problems. Uh, update on the princess guard. Oh, Lord. Only the bane of my existence. <sighs> so we still have a lot of mud. It's been eight days, nine days, nine days. Um, come on, you guys, let them over. Um, it's been nine days and we are starting to see a little bit of sprouts, finally. Um, not a whole lot, a little bit. We put a lot of seed out and I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully this, this goes. It, it's, it's just a muddy mess, people. It's just a muddy mess. Stuff needs to start growing. Uh, that's about as far as we've gotten on, on the Princess Garden on that side. That's been about it. It was kind of a boring week. Not a whole lot going on. I was a little busy, but uh, but that was that was about it. Um, I think Mama Faith was the excitement for everybody during during the week. Babies are settling down now, so everything's good. Everything's been going. Uh, Man of America is now back on live schedule. So uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Don't forget to uh, you know tune in. Tune in for the shows, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. Links are always down below. If you don't know where it's at, just go down, find the link for Man of America, follow the show. You'll get a notification um, when we go live. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. It's going to be a short show uh, today. Short, short little vlog because there's really not a whole heck of a lot uh, 